Hello and welcome to Iron at Large where we have different unboxings of several pieces of media and uh, pretty much cards and whatnot. So hopefully everyone's having a great day and uh, just wanted to give you some more information about what's been going on. Um, again, I've been traveling a little bit and trying and see what else is around the nation from secondhand stores. Maybe one day I might do like an actual visit kind of thing on some of these places. And so just finding and then showing them here. But uh, I know that might be more preferred since I prefer those as general. But that takes a lot more um, more camera work. So try and get through some baby steps first uh, in my case. But uh, if you do want some of that, let me know down below. Um, and then maybe in the future I'll try to see what I can do. But without further ado, we can get started on what I've been finding um, quite a bit this time. So uh, see what you can. Some of these were just from packages and then a few of them were from things I've been finding. So uh, either way, first things first, we got is Domestic Girlfriend. I believe I showed the limited edition set a while back. So now I got the standard edition. Again, some of these things just comes in the bundle. So it's like, well, I don't have the standard, so might as well have that as a release now so um if you know about that show well um it's it's quite unique and it's uh it's plot and storyline so uh i'll leave you at finding it yourself just like this one here which we got the blu-ray of quasar of stigma so same as that and then also um rosera vampire one and two this is the essentials version so before I showed the double pack, so again, just a different release for it. Uh, next one here we got is Black Bullet. Um, yeah, again, I can't really say too much about this. I don't know how much it was really regarded at the time, but uh, yeah, more uh, more standard DVDs, uh, Blu-rays. I mean, talking about DVDs though, we got is. The regular DVD of Blade and Soul. I remember this being good back in the day when this aired. Um, yeah. Pretty much what you expect. But uh, yeah. DVD for that. Alright, next one we have here is Akiba in... Or Cyber Team in Akiba. Or Akihabara. Uh, complete collection. There's different versions of this out there. Um, again, I wasn't really wanting to spend too much on this. So um, it's not that hard to find out in the wild so um again one of the few advs i still needed but it was just not really in the high priority standpoint but uh i do have this version now and uh there is a thin box set so whenever that i see that not a huge rush uh next one we got here is uh mysterious girlfriend x dvd set uh, again not really something else Quickly looking for but it's uh yeah very suggestive so um spits something not really seen very often all right next one we got here is uh save version for Sanger kagra ninja flash again they put different versions of this out there the standard there's limited and then they put save so enough interest i guess but yeah more fan service show um, I guess more of a theme here, except for Cyber Team. So, maybe Black Bullet too, but either way. Next save here is Ju Ose. This is a DVD save. Um, talking about saves, we have quite a bit here. So I was able to find quite a bit of them in, in the wild slash online. Uh, next save here we got is Jinki Extend. Wallflower. Ghost Hunt. Bowder Force EX. Ikitosin. Extreme. Got some Nobari. Very, very much of a classic show. Black Blood Brothers. And then uh, some Ragnarok, the animation. So getting a little bit of a fast pace here, but yeah, quite a bit of saves. Um, 
usually not something I get very often because the green spines are definitely not something I go for. But again, for the price, I think five to eight dollars each. Why not? <laughs> um, but either way, great shows overall, though. They at least picked some pretty good ones. Um, I was not a real big fan of Black Blood Brothers, but that's me. Nor was I really a fan of Baldur Force EX. So there's a few that were a little bit of a eh, but that's my opinion. Uh, next for a good show is, or movie in this case, is 5 centimeters per second. Great Makalu Shinkai film. This is the DVD version uh, for Discotech. Again, different version, different release, but same movie. So. So talking about ADB, I found Mikal or Mikel. I didn't even know they put this out, but apparently it's ADV Kids specifically. And uh yeah, 26 episodes. So yeah. More you know. Uh next one that I got here is uh Star Zinger and Die King as well, the movie. So Again, just interesting sets, releases here for movies. Shout Factory in this case. So, good classics. If you haven't seen them, you should. Unless you're not into uh, this type of uh, animation. Um, nothing I got here is Two Love Room. Uh, complete Collection, Sentai. This is the first release, I think, of it for the complete set. Uh, they have different parts. They really did a lot with this for some reason. But uh, this is just a Japanese sub. Um, again, there's different versions with the dub. Again, it's crazy. But yeah, to love room. Uh, next one here is Antique. This is a Nozomi release. Uh, not that common, actually, for some reason, um, of a release. But 12 episodes, food... This one actually seems quite interesting from uh, from them, so pretty glad I found it. Uh, next one we got here is Samurai Showdown. So this is another ADV I was looking for. Um, again, not an easy find either, but uh, again, not really the best of entertainment as well, so... Um, but needed it for the collection to complete it, so here it is. Um, next one's here are Steelbooks. So we're getting to the best portions of the set here. We got is Pokemon Diamond and Pearl for movie collection, Steelbook. And uh, we got these four here. Again, not a really big fan of Pokemon movies, but... I was like, well, why not? You know, so seemed interesting enough. I like the games. Um, another one that came this really is something that came out recently, so paid full price for it, but I felt like, well, Jutsu Kaisen's actually a good series. I should get this actual series pretty soon, but I'm wanting to get the best buy version as quick as possible just in case if it goes out of print. But uh Really good. Highly suggest. I think they did pretty good on the Steelbook in general. So, uh, pretty works pretty well. Kind of scary. <laughs> um, next one here I got is Finding Mabra Hole. So, this is the big box set. So, again, I get this every once in a while for big box sets. And this is another one that I was missing from ADV. Pretty uh, interesting artwork. It's a little beaten up, but again, not complaining. Considering now I have it. Um, not an easy set to find on the cheap. So if you do find it out there, uh, hopefully you're not spending more than usually 70 US dollars. But uh, if you are, uh, you might want to look elsewhere. <laughs> but uh, either way, I'm glad to have this added to the collection and great show. Um, probably not like in the top 20s or anything, but um, or 50, but it's it still works for the time. 
So the next one we got here is the limited edition of Dororo. Um, again, it was a weird setup of it was in print for a little bit, went out, went back in. So I think it was just the stock they had for sale. But either way, um, might as well get this before they think again to go out of print. So um, again, not really know much about it. Seemed pretty interesting from the cover art and it's a limited set. So um wanted to get this before it really went completely out. But uh, yeah. And again, no, uh, no Aniplex this time, but again, not always the easiest. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Um, a little bit longer. I can't try to keep it a little bit shorter, but uh, kind of been busy. I'll try to put out a little bit more frequently um, since I'll be a little bit less busy now. But either way, um, hope everyone's having a great day. Thanks for still watching. And uh, yeah, keep on going, keep on collecting, and see you next time.